Next up, the secret ingredient in the fountain of youth. A Harvard scientist believes he may have found it, at least in mice, making them appear biologically years younger, essentially reversing age. Will it work in humans? I'm joined now by the man behind it all, Dr. David Sinclair. He's professor of genetics and co-director of the Center of the Biology of Aging at Harvard Medical School. It's a pleasure to meet you, doctor. Thanks for being here. Can you do the anti-aging for idiots version of what you did in mice? Because I read it, but I need you to explain right. it to me. Well, it's, it's not that difficult. What we did was we found genes that control the aging process, and they exist in all of us. And we found molecules that regulate those things. And so what we've done is we've put this little molecule in the, the water of the mice. They drink it and they end up feeling younger, they run almost twice as far, and they, they feel younger. And actually, they, they may even live longer as well. So what is, are reasons for you and uh, uh, people like you to believe that this will or would not work in humans, the same sort yeah. of science? Well, I'm, I'm one of hundreds of scientists around the world that believe this is uh, going to happen in the next few years. Um, certainly within 10 years, there will be medicines you can be prescribed to, to extend your lifespan um, and slow down the aging process. One of the reasons that I think it's going to work for sure is that we know that calorie restriction, this strict diet of consuming about 20% less than what your doctor would recommend, works in every animal, every species, even little spiders and fish. And we're not that different from all the other animals. And what we do with our molecules is we mimic that diet. Are you as confident as you look? You, you are. Is that you well, are? Yes. Well, I'm 80 years old. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you haven't used that line before. My understanding, you're starting testing on humans this month. Is that correct? Yeah, if all goes well, we're waiting for approval, but hopefully this summer we'll finish those studies. And did I read, I didn't even know if this was real. Are you taking the drug now yourself? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, Why are you I, hesitant I, to answer the question? Well, I don't want to be uh, thought of as a, as a kook, but... Uh, but you are taking it. I'm volunteering uh, to do an experiment on myself, and we'll see. If I'm around in another 100 years, we'll know it's working. How long have you been taking it? Well, I've been taking molecules for a while. We first discovered the role of resveratrol, the red wine molecule, 10 years well. ago at least. I've been taking I that drank cases since. because of you, by the way. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah. But uh, you're avoiding this question. I want to stay on this. This, this drug here that you want to test on humans, right. my understanding is you're not only testing it on yourself, but on some family members. So directly, that's a yes, well, yes. So, so I can confirm that I'm taking it, um, and other people are, but that's their choice. Okay, well, let's talk about you. What's the impact? How long have you been taking it? Uh, for a year now. What's the, a year? Yeah. What's the impact been on you? Well, it's, it's hard to know because it's just me, but I do feel like I can run further. I think better. I don't get tired. I can speak faster. Um, I don't get jet lag anymore, thank goodness. So those are, to a non-scientist, those are sort of subjective observations. Right. Have they been, have you done objective analysis of how this has impacted you? Well, I've taken blood tests, and the, those blood tests came back and said that, according to those, I'm, uh, I'm younger. How much younger? Uh, about 10 years, according to that uh, test. From having taken this for a year, you're 10 years younger? Well, that's what they said. You, your goal, I read here, is not... I've read you say on a couple of occasions, your goal is not so much to prolong life, but to improve the quality of aging. I'm not sure I understand that. You're, the goal is really both, is it, is it not? Well, th this is the key point. Uh, often people think that I'm just trying to keep people alive in nursing homes. It's the complete opposite. There's going to be a future where we can look forward to being in our 80s, 90s, not worry about getting cancer in our 50s, 60s, still play tennis, hang out with great-grandkids, and that's keeping people out of nursing homes rather than the opposite. But, but this could, assuming that the society is ready, which it's not, for much older people with Social Security and health care and all the kinds of things I know you know a ton about, if we ever get to that point, in addition to improving the quality of life as you age, it would increase your lifespan if this were to work, yes? You definitely live longer if you don't die from something. And well, <laughs> so that, by definition, you'd be... Okay. Correct. So uh, get back to resveratrol for a second. Uh, yeah. I, I, I wasn't being facetious. I was drinking red wine until I couldn't see straight uh, because of you. But that didn't pan out exactly as you hoped. Did it or, or did it? Well, it's, it's still going on. So GlaxoSmithKline, the large pharmaceutical company, bought our company. That. And they're still doing the... For a lot of dough. For a lot of dough, uh, which I've reinvested mm -hmm. um, in this new work. But the, the company is still working uh, and plans on going back in. They've done some human studies with, that were positive. Uh, they're looking at inflammation, diseases such as psoriasis. Uh, and they hope that uh, next year that they'll have some more data. But it's, drug development's much slower than anyone would like, really, in my position. So, so uh, for those of us, should we be skeptics about this 
current research that you're engaged I, in? I think it's Well, we fine. should all be skeptics, but we you should. know what I mean. Should we be more skeptical than we might be because, mm -hmm. like, because of the resveratrol thing? Should we be or no? Well, no, I think that we should be more optimistic than ever. What, what I showed, I was a pioneer early on, but now there are dozens of companies and scientists working towards this goal. And if, if you don't want to believe me, you can talk to them. And, you know, if I'm, if I'm not the first, someone else will be over the next few years. Speaking of next few years, uh, if all goes as it appears to me you believe it will go, when will treatment be available for me, a human, uh, uh, like what you're taking, approved treatment? When would that be available? Approved, so FDA-approved prescribable drug. It's, it's a few years away at least. It, you, know, you always hope that it's going to be quick, and the fastest drug ever approved was four years. So we're looking at probably that time frame, best case scenario. But I think beyond that, someone's going to do it. But four years is not long to wait, considering it is not long to wait. humanity's waited 10,000 years or more. Well, let me tell you something. You look terrific. So if that's any indication, I didn't know you before, but you look good now. So let's hope that's an indication of success. Doctor, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much. Please stay in touch with us. Thanks, Thank you. you so much, Dr. David Sinclair.